All right, I've got the latest Going Gear EDC Club from August 2022. If you're looking for a killer way to feed your EDC habit, this subscription may be just what you're looking for. Let's open this thing up and check it out. What's up guys, Eric here from At Home in the Future, and this is our latest unboxing of the EDC Club from Going Gear. Uh, this is probably one of the favorite subs we have on the channel right now. If you're into knives, if you're into just cool carry gear, things that make everyday life a little bit easier, this is a really cool subscription. This is the standard level we're gonna unbox here today. They also have a premium box that's around $200 a month. This one's around 60 ish or so. One of the coolest gear subscriptions on the market, Going Gear really knows what they're talking about in this space, and they always send some really fun stuff every month. So let's open this thing up and see what we got here. My trusty knife. We'll cut this one down the side since they kind of doubled the package over. All right. Let's see what we got. Normally a few items and then a slip of paper kind of going over the full thing itself. I already recognize I've seen this in another subscription before and we'll get to that. That looks interesting. It looks like we have an, ooh, a cool, a knife from Kaiser. I really actually like Kaiser stuff, a really fun knife brand. So let's check out the guide here and see what we got. I kind of like the, going gear approach which is nothing fancy just keeping it sweet and short um, there's the rundown of everything that came in this month's package you see the prices along with it and the prices tend to be like what you can actually find it for online not just like an inflated price that's always pretty cool uh, ooh, the assassin is the kaiser knife this month i'm actually a little bit familiar with that uh, from watching youtube so i'm excited about that so let's uh let's go from low to high let's start with the county calm screw key ring set uh, which i'm guessing is this here not familiar with this, but just glancing at it, I like the idea of it just from taking a quick look. Um, and what these are, just little screwdrivers that go in your key ring. So sometimes you'll get these kind of fancy attachments or fancy EDC gear stuff that has screwdrivers built into it or a place to take bits. Uh, but it looks like this is a fairly simple approach. Just a nice kind of stonewashed metal key attachment that you can throw on. So if you just use a Phillips all the time, or maybe you need a flathead, or maybe both. This is something fun to have that you can add to a thing that you carry with you every day already. And you can have a really nice high utility piece of gear that uh, will always come in handy, or at least will come in handy a few days a week. It also has like the hex pattern around it too. So I'm guessing if you had a tool where it had like a hex insert where you could twist some stuff, uh, that's a really cool addition, seeing that. So let's see on the sheet if there's anything else I need to know about this. That's kind of fun. It says, nobody has made a high quality key ring screwdriver for the last 10 years until now. These are constructed of heat treated and blackened steel. You can tell they're tough. They got a little bit of weight to them. They're not heavy. They're just, they just feel like they're solid. They're not gonna break when you actually use them. Yeah, so that's really rad. And that's indicative of the kind of stuff that tends to come with the EDC club, which I really like. So we'll lay these aside and we'll move on to our next item, which is the Tactica Gear um, M.020. Camping multi-tool. All right, let's check this thing out. Like I mentioned, I am familiar with this. I've actually received this in a previous box before. Um, and it's kind of similar to some of the other flat card style multi-tools out there, but it has a few extra tricks under its sleeve and you can see those right here on the left. So it has a ferro rod built in. It says it's got a tent peg puller, a rope cutter. And here's a full rundown of all these different features here in the back. Lots of different utility, pry bar, can opener, flat screwdriver, a little ruler there. The sundial to me is something that's pretty compelling in this because that's just a feature I haven't seen in next to anything else. Uh, so like any card style multi-tool, the utility and how much you'll actually get out of this thing is just depending on how much you'll actually use it. So this one, um, has, like I mentioned, has a little bit of an extra feature here with this ferro rod down here on the end. You can get a closer view of it right here. It's got kind of a nice, titanium sheen to it. You know what? I don't know if it actually is titanium. Let's see if it says on here. No, it doesn't say what it is. And I would guess just from the heft that it's probably not titanium, but still kind of a cool dark look to it. Uh, but the little ferro rod pops right off the end. And once you scrape that paint off there, you can use this uh, to get some sparks. So that adds a nice little fire starting superpower to a tool that you don't really see that kind of utility with. But you see some ruler edges down here on the sides, little rope cutters. Uh, tiny little flathead. Look at that itty bitty little flathead. I don't know if that is going to focus in on the camera, but that's kind of funny. Um, and there's that sundial. And the box actually comes with the guide here that explains um, all the little things you can do with this. Uh, but anyway, like I was mentioning earlier, this sort of tool, uh, I had something similar in my wallet I used to carry. I think at the time it was called the Pocket Monkey. Now, a bunch of people have come out with these over time, including this brand. And this definitely seems a little bit more stout than the other one was. But I used it once or twice, and then eventually I decided, ah, this maybe is not for me. Uh, so this is something you may want to play with in your carry setup. Is this something that you want to keep in your wallet? Is this something you want to keep in a bag or a little kit? 
You may find a lot of utility in this and you may not find any, a lot of utility, I don't know. For me, I stopped carrying uh, this style tool just because I had stronger and better tools that did the job a little bit better, but this may speak to you, I'm not sure. So uh, here's the instruction manual, lots of different things you can look at, a detailed guide and how to use it, um, but a cool quality product that you may really enjoy and find it a lot of use for. So that's the Tactica M020 camping multi-tool there worth $35. So. We're gonna move on to our final item here in the standard package this month, and that is the Kaiser Knives Assassin. So Kaiser is one of those knife brands that's kind of snuck up on me in the last maybe year or so. Um, we did a huge knife video on our channel, which you should go check out, uh, where I have several Kaiser knives featured in that after so many people told me how much they love their knives. They're fairly inexpensive for what they are. I think this is a $70 knife, so that's, you know, depending on how much you spend on knives, that may be expensive to you, may not be. Uh, but they bring a ton of value in for a price that's normally pretty affordable and the action on these things is buttery smooth than the ones I've used before. So uh, this is the Kaiser Assassin. Let's learn a little bit more before I play around with this thing because I want to mess with it here for a minute. <laughs> All right, it mentions right off the bat that Kaiser action. Like I said, they're normally super, super smooth. A lot of times they're on bearings. I'm not sure about this one. It's got an ambidextrous deep carry pocket clip, micarta handles, which feel so cool. Micarta is just a really interesting material that just ages and patinas over time. I really enjoy having that on knives. Um, and 154CM still, which is a great still. Let's get up close and personal with this here. You can see the flipper tab, the button lock, which we'll talk about in a second. Look at all that jimping on the back of the blade. And the blade centering looks super awesome. There's that clip, which they say is ambidextrous, so you can switch it to either side. And you can already see with that micarta, there's a little bit of just discoloration and stuff there, which is what you want in this. You want that character to develop. And as your hands, the grease from your hands, it sounds gross, but as the grease from your hands kind of gets into this material, it's kind of like having a leather foam case where it looks better six months after you get it. Um, that's typically the same way with these knives, but a little bit of even some jumping on the backspacer there. Um, feels nice. The weight um, is, seems to be kind of middle of the road, so it's not super light, not super heavy. Uh, let's pop open the flipper and see what we got. Yep, yeah, it's got that smooth Kaiser action there. Um, really nice space there for your hand, kind of naturally just goes in those grooves. That blade steel is 154CM, which is an awesome steel. It's got a little bit of a stone, uh, stone wash finish to it, nice drop point profile. Very cool little badge there. The Assassin, that is a cool profile. I really like this knife, guys. Look at that jimping is wild. I don't think I've actually seen jimping on a blade or a knife this size that goes that far down. But the real fun of this knife, um, and the fun of a knife like this is a button lock mechanism, which is one of the most fidgety and functional locking mechanisms I've ever seen on a knife. So to simply depress that and look how that just fell right back in. Just the weight of the blade just goes right back out. In fact, I can probably push this in and sling the blade out too. Yeah, that is as smooth as it gets. Let me see if I can tell if it's on bearings or not. Yeah, just kind of glancing down the side it definitely seems to be on bearings. And you can see it's kind of skeletonized on the liners inside there. So this is a great knife. This is one thing I really, really love about the subscription is even in the standard box every month, uh, normally their premium box, which I mentioned is quite a bit more than the standard box, normally has a really high-end knife. But as far as subscriptions go in this arena, I have a bunch of tactical and survival related, prepping related subscriptions on this channel. And a lot of those include knives, but Going Gear's knives are almost always better than even the premium knives in a lot of those other subscriptions, with the exception of maybe like a Knife of the Month Club from Barrel and Blade or something, but um, they do a great job, even in their standard box. The knife every month uh, in these boxes has never just been a throwaway knife or something that you're like, oh, okay, you're just padding out the value. It's always a knife that you would want in your collection, and the Kaiser Knives Assassin is no different. Really cool button lock action there. As you can tell down the side, if I can get it posed just right. You can see how that plunge lock or button lock works where it releases the blade. Very fidgety mechanism. If you're familiar with something like an axis lock, uh, which kind of keeps your fingers out of the blade path, because sometimes with a liner lock or a frame lock, you're having to push that over to the side and scoot the blade down. But these button locks allow that blade just to fall with your fingers never in the way of getting sliced. Uh, so that's something I'm pretty happy with. So super awesome. This is definitely the star of the show this month. The Kaiser Knives Assassin and the uh, August 2022 Going Gear EDC Club. Very cool. Lots of little screws and stuff, I guess, if you want to move your pocket clip around on that. Uh, anyway, yeah, couldn't be happier with that knife. So that is this month's 
Going Gear EDC Club. If you want to get this subscription for yourself, I think you'll really dig this. If you're into EDC at all, this is a great way to feed your habit every month. You can follow the link on the screen or down the description uh, for the best price in that. But I think you'll have a ton of fun with this one and I can't wait to get next month's box already. Definitely one of my favorite subscriptions. So that's it for this month's unboxing. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. It helps the channel out a ton. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this and more EDC stuff like this. We'll see you next time.